All right, real quick guys, I wanted to go over the actual insurance process because I remade the last video because I think the detail was pretty terrible. And I went over what the mechanic pointed out was wrong with it and the insurance combined. Anyways, let's get right into it. Real quick like guys let's go over this um, pattern of how insurance works I feel like I'm explaining this too much and maybe this will be a little bit more helpful okay so me and my ZXR get in a crash first thing you do is you you go to the hospital make sure nothing's wrong with you after that you call your insurance my insurance personally this is the steps that i have to go through i call them they make a claim now when they make a claim they uh set me up with somebody that's going to handle the claim for the entirety of the claim that person assigns me an adjuster the adjuster is the one that looks at your bike and tells you you know these things need to be replaced all right so because of the coronavirus adjusters can't physically come out to your house so what happens is we use a phone app and you basically call into them, you talk to them, and then they take pictures using your phone camera on the internet of parts that need to be fixed, all right? After that, they're gonna come up with an initial estimate of, you know, parts that need to be replaced and how much it costs and how much labor should cost. And then you're gonna take that, you're gonna bring it to your mechanic. In this, in this case, my mechanic, I went and brought it to my mechanic and he's gonna go over the entire bike, try to find things that they didn't find. You're gonna add all these things up, you know, it may be $6,000, $7,000 in parts. After you get all those parts, he's gonna, He's gonna go and look in the Kawasaki book, you know, for my my model, my color, all that stuff. All right, we wanna buy all these things. He's gonna take his estimate, and that's with everything because they take the bike completely apart. And then he's gonna add labor to it, you know, for him working on it. And for me, basically the bike right now is worth, um, eight to nine grand so if they were to sell it for salvage it would be worth 1500 at an auction roughly maybe more probably less and basically what the insurance is going to do is subtract what my bike is worth from what they can get from salvaging it which is probably about 1500 dollars. so we play we'll probably say about 6500 to 7500 is about the maximum it can cost to repair my bike okay so knowing that my bike is probably totaled because they didn't add the forks they didn't add the rear set they didn't add the rear brake they didn't add the front brake like they missed a lot of stuff that the mechanic found and i'm just going to tell you all straight up guys the parts alone is going to be probably as much as my you know my bike minus the uh, salvage is worth so all right, so after that happens, your mechanic will talk to the adjuster, usually. Uh, that's how it's gonna go for me. <laughs> He's gonna talk to them, and then they're going to go ahead and take what he found and add it to the estimate, and they may try to cheapskate you here or not. And then they're gonna make a decision. All right, is, is it worth repairing? And in most cases, it, it should be, but it just depends on how your crash happened mine was like a slingshot i got slammed into the ground there was a lot of momentum you know the physics behind it my bike and me got slammed to the ground it wasn't even it didn't even make sense let's just put it that way it made no sense so that being said because that happened like that my bike's likely going to get totaled uh, there's almost no way around it because of how much just when you have a brand new bike, things cost a lot more. Let's just put it that way. So after that happens, the insurance 
if they find that my bike's totaled, they will give me a letter, send me an email, you know, with the estimate. I'll take that to the bank. The bank's going to consider, okay, we're going to pay off whatever the uh, insurance doesn't, and then I can go take out another loan for a new bike. And that's that's probably what's going to happen. Now, if they, they decide, all right, screw it, we're going to just pay to fix it, even though it's going to cost more than then they should pay to fix it then you know this will just go a different way i will i'll still get reimbursed for any aftermarket parts on my bike and you know that's that's the thing so like if my bike gets salvaged or not i'm still going to get reversed or reimbursed for whatever got jacked up during the wreck that was aftermarket that's just the way it is now i'll get full the full amount if they total the bike if they total the bike i have a lot of aftermarket on there so they'll give me everything on there um i may or may not be able to get the actual gear that i was wearing too we'll see so after that your insurance will pay say if you're on a loan if you're on a loan they're going to pay directly to the loan and if there's anything left over a check will get cut to you for me, that's not the case. There's not going to be anything cut to me, probably, because the bike, the loan was literally like four months old or three months old, you know? So I put a down payment to make the bike worth as much as the loan, basically. So the bank wasn't losing any money, so they were more likely to give it to me. I put a big down payment. So I lose that on $1,500, whatever, doesn't matter. So what we're going to do here now is wait for them to make a decision. They're going to make a decision and it's likely going to be total and if they total my bike we're gonna zero out my loan it's going to be considered paid off you know the insurance is going to pay their portion and if they don't pay completely i have gap insurance through the bank and the bank is going to pay the rest so that's what that gap insurance is for if you if someone ever asks you if you want gap insurance the answer should be yes because what happens is if Say the insurance decides they don't want to pay anything and your bike's just jacked up or whatever, Gap Insurance will pay the entire amount. That's what it's there for. So that's what it is. Um, anyways, after that happens, the insurance will also cut you a check for, you know, whatever extra stuff. Like say you, you had personal injury protection or whatever, they'll pay you for that. Say if you had accessory coverage, they'll pay you for that. You know, you're going to you'll get a little bit of money and that'll, you know, get the wheels rolling for you and you'll be able to get into something new anyways i hope that was enlightening for y'all because i know not everybody has insurance um well not just that not everybody understands how insurance works it's it's usually a long process it could take up to a month in some cases uh for me the ball's rolling pretty fast because i'm pretty much on top of them the entire time and that's how it should be you know you shouldn't have to wait forever while you're bikeless or whatever the hell. Now, luckily for me, I got the 650 over here ready to go, right? But it ain't a ZX6R, I'll tell you that. It's still fun, but it ain't fucking... It ain't a, it ain't a fun bike as fun as the ZX6R is, I don't know. It's not really an easy way to explain it, but basically, that's how it works, guys, and... I guess I'll quickly go over. No, I did it already. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.